Oh yeah, which did you put the milk, just normal milk in? Oh, which is normal milk in. Uh, right, shall we start? Yeah, let's go for it, go for it. <gasps> Where, stop yawning. And no slow-mo, me yawning. <laughs> now what she's like, it'll be a big <gasps> <laughs> And then I'll slow-mo in that. <laughs> <laughs> she will. <laughs> I will. Hello and welcome to podcast episode number two, YouTube podcast. Yes, and hello for me too. Catch up with the cars. I'm not going to do the theme tune. No. It, I just don't want to. If you want to hear the theme tune, it's just episode one yeah, at the beginning. Um, it's just a joke. But yeah, we've yeah. got a cup of tea. We're going to sit down and chat. This actually tastes funny. It tastes a bit... Perfume? I don't... Mom, is, what does you, yours what? taste perfumey or what? <laughs> if it does, can I not drink it? don't know why mine tastes like that. It's alright? It's alright. No, I'm still drinking mine. Let me taste yours. <laughs> yeah. I can smell it. What the hell it. is it? What's gone in there? I don't need to taste that. I can smell it. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the scroll. That is weird. No, I think that's probably wise to step away from the Yeah, brew. what is that? I don't know. Do you I'll, think I'll it's like it washing up liquid or something? No, it wouldn't be no. like that. That's weird. That is strange. Oh. <laughs> 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 we, there was some flies in the kitchen. There was like little ones that were around my bird seat. But yeah, I did notice there's one or two stray flies in the kitchen because when I did fill up my bird feeders today. Long story, might want to edit this out. <laughs> Basically, I sprayed fly spray. I'm thinking that's all I've got going on in this book. <laughs> Literally, because I tasted mine, it tastes normal. I, yeah. I didn't even taste mine because I smelt it. I was like, no, that's yeah, not good. Yeah, I don't think I should proceed with that. That's not a good start. That's the only thing I can think of, but how the hell is it got in my mug? <laughs> I haven't sprayed it on my crockery. Oh, oh. be careful, guys. Well, he said that in these episodes that if anybody has any questions to leave them in the comments or any like just general suggestions for topics then to leave them in the comments and somebody did say something in the last video um i actually found it quite funny um somebody asked <laughs> is georgie your favorite child and mum responded to that person in the comments saying um she's my favorite daughter and that got three likes mum yeah Three's my favourite number. Thank you. But somebody <laughs> else commented, <laughs> Georgie, are you now an experienced driver as you would make an ideal HGV trucker? <laughs> oh, that's random. <laughs> Don't you think that's hilarious? That's random. And this person also previously commented on my learner driver video about two minutes before commenting on this podcast video. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think that that's quite true, but... No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. You're nowhere near getting your test passed, have you? No, nope, I'm not going to be a trucker either. No, uh, no. It's just lockdown, COVID, and all that's just things got in the way, isn't it? You yeah, I just it. don't want to drive um, because, especially um, like lessons and stuff at the minute, because you have to wear like face coverings, and I just won't be able to see anything on the road. Like I'll just drive down the road, and you do anything that's like here or here. I was going to say, you do know you don't put it over your eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. Sometimes oh, okay. at work, Tommy puts his mask over his eyes to have a little rest. That, does he? Oh, not whilst he's working. <laughs> not whilst he's working at break. I can imagine him doing that as well. He's making me laugh at the moment, and it's something he's done for years. But I've suddenly sort of studied it. I thought that's actually quite funny because he's all like, um, Georgie, <laughs> having a Oh yes, we also had um, one negativity, didn't we, Mum? We did. We had a negative comment from a family member. <laughs> I mean, how beautiful! Oh, 
Is that harsh but fair? I don't know. I don't know. But obviously, being a family member, she felt bold enough to say. Yeah. She found us a little bit boring and said she put us on 1.5 speed. So she yeah. get, get it moved on. You don't have to watch <laughs> if you don't want to watch. Yeah. That In just fact, disclaimer. <laughs> Jen, don't watch. We don't want you to watch. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're going to do. You're not welcome, love. And she said she didn't even finish it either. Exactly. Okay. I don't think she's even made it this far out, to be honest. <laughs> no, <laughs> <this video>. no. <laughs> uh, but if you are watching, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I do you find, I don't know, because me and Jordan are literally really the same shape. That. But when I'm sat there, I, you can't see on camera, thank God. But if I just sit there with my legs straight out in front of me, they are wide. Put they your feet like on melt. your tiptoes. I know, there you go. that's better. Instantly there we go. lost five stone. Five stone? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hang on, hold the phone. Stop. I've got cake in the oven. Let uh -huh. me just check. Sorry. Jesus. We Sorry. haven't even got into any Sorry. topics yet. Well, no, that's just general chit chat. I'm back in a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll take a two minute pause for an ad break. Okay, Hello. but that's nowhere near yet. That needs another. Oh, what are you baking? It's a rhubarb and ginger cake. Um, actual. I had some stewed rhubarb and I kept the juice from it when I defrosted it and I've got fresh ginger which we used in Thomas Curry on Friday night and I didn't need as much as what I chopped up. So I thought I'm not chucking this in the bin. Rhubarb and ginger cake. So. Fantastic. Oh this is interesting but maybe Jen had a point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make videos necessarily for people to watch them, I make videos because I enjoy making them yeah. and I enjoy editing them and watching them back. I enjoy it, yeah, because maybe we'll watch this in two or three years' time and have a right long. Yeah, exactly. Or think, wow, that was embarrassing. I'm not posting this <laughs> thinking, oh my god, everyone's going to absolutely love this video. Mm -hmm. No. But I just want, I just film stuff because I want to film yeah. it. Like yeah. Like vlogs, especially my weekly vlogs. I film them because then you can look back on them, like in years to come and whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh god, what was I going to say? Something happened within the last... Dad crashing his car. Oh God, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't his car, he crashed. It was mine. The one I generally Oh, used. right. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, Dad had a car crash a few days ago. Um, he dropped me and Tommy off to work and it was like, I don't know, 8.15 and then he had a crash at probably like 8.30 or something like that. He, he was like at a junction, that's right. And he looked that way, that way and straight on. I think there was a car straight on or something that kind of distracted yeah. him because he'd seen a car come left and then right and then he thought okay I can go but he was watching the car straight on to see if it would go and it didn't go but then he thought okay I'll go quickly then so he put his foot down and he didn't see a car coming from the left and um, yeah he smashed into the back of their car shouldn't hit their rear end and sent them spinning they went spinning off yeah scared the crap out of himself as well he's uh it's took it very well. I thought it'd be a really good that the car's knackered because it's it's written it off because it's an older car. It's just not worth doing up. We don't think anyway. And it's been a really good car, very reliable. But yeah, he just realised he could have actually been seriously injured in that, and nobody was injured in it. Thank God. If he was so, a second sooner, then they would have smashed into the side of him. Yeah, and that would have been a whole. And they were going. And they were going at 60, sixty miles per 60 hour, mile an hour, and he was going ten miles per hour yeah. or something like that because yeah. he was setting off was not a good moment for him but yeah it's uh keep your eyes on the road well it yells now we're all terrified of that junction it's horrible it's a fast road and you're crossing a main road dad did not follow his saying of think thrice measure twice and cut once he <laughs> thought only once not thrice no hey ah yeah sorry we've got squirrels that go mental at the moment a massive conker tree at the side of the garden and so yeah they're just burying these massive conkers in our lawn at the moment so. it's very distracting it is distracting these are the fattest squirrels you've ever seen i've still got the taste of possibly fly spray in my mouth <laughs> mm, delicious <gasps> tasty never get me to make you a brew <laughs> yeah well, actually, she made me one. It doesn't taste like any perfume, so I think I'm safe, but we'll have to see. Didn't you um, were very I might lucky. Because yeah. I said to you, which mug do you want? Because literally the contents are exactly the same. And that's when we worked out I forgot to use Georgie's special milk. That was pretty not good. Your jumper smells nice. Yeah. Oh. Do you know why? Because I washed it again. Did you wash it? I washed it again. This jumper here? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this reminds me of lunch at work. Everyone's so quiet, and I just want to start laughing. <laughs> yeah, you've got a habit of doing that, haven't you? Yeah, I have this thing where if there's like an awkward situation, I'll just start laughing. Or like if there's a, like an awkward silence and nobody says anything, I just start laughing. Um, it's not good. Jesus, oh, not dear again. Oh, Lord. At break number two. It's gone so quick. I still don't think it's going to be cooked, you know. Maybe I should just turn the oven off and let it... Finish off in the residual heat. Whilst mum's away, I'll show you something I made in um, something she made early. secondary. Yeah, something I made earlier. It's really good. In secondary school, it's um, a clay hand. Um, I I think this is quite good for somebody who was what twelve, maybe thirteen. Um, it's a hand, and then there's like loads of like I don't know bits and bobs attached to it. Um, so yeah, and she's kept it ever since. So. There we go. So, whilst we're there, do you like our coasters? Here they are. This can be today's podcast um, special guest because last um, last episode we had Lucas the Spider. In this episode, we're having uh, whatever this little guy is called. What's this guy called? Oh, that's Morph. Oh, right, that's what he's called. Yeah, I love those coasters. Tommy's eaten one. He's eaten one? Well, he tried to. Oh, um, what, he was young? I, well, I can't, <laughs> yeah. I don't even see that. Um, his thumb's gone. What? Why would anyone do that? He's just nibbled the very tip of his thumb. We started art lessons, haven't we? Yep. Is that what you were going to say? No, earlier? it wasn't. Oh, no, right. it was something else entirely. I we still will... have no idea. When I think in our next podcast episode, we'll show you what we've been getting up to, because um, then we would have actually done a few more things. Yeah, we've only just had the one session so far. Yeah. And it's very early stages. So, it's so we'll look at you in each episode yeah. from this one. But the theme is portals. Yeah. Yes. Like you step into it and go somewhere else. Yeah, we're doing these together, aren't we? Yeah. That's quite good fun. So I've got to motivate myself later though to uh, to do a bit more on my portal planning. Well, I like having a fresh sketchbook because then I feel like I'm excited to like use, it. use the sketchbook. Yeah, yeah. Unless I mess up, then I'll be like, oh, the whole book's ruined. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll teach Ali. It, well, she didn't tell us off, but she told us don't, oh. don't use stuff from the works. It's absolute crud. And of course, everything I've got art-wise is from the works. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, it's oh, okay. cheap. But she has provided us with some really, really nice equipment. For things. money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think in our next episode, we're going to, we will talk about our opinions on alcohol because mum said she'd like to talk about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not like uh, the whole episode, just. What is an acceptable um, amount of alcohol to drink sort of thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I suppose we could talk about it in this episode. Well, I could do. It would be nice to get Tommy involved because he's very, very passionate about the subject. Yeah. He's a, I get branded an alcoholic by Tommy most days um, because most days I will have one glass of wine. It tends to be my home brew, which I um, so what would mix you... with the uh, soda. So it's like a spritzer and I have one of those as, while I get the tea ready. And, and Oh, drinking wine again, are you more? Oh, you're an alcoholic, you know. You know. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> so what would you would you say that that's a healthy amount to drink i think one to one and a half glasses i think two glasses every day is too much i thought but you were going to say a week <laughs> no but one to one and a half um i don't actually drink every day but i would say it's but one to two days a week I, I won't but it's not a conscious decision not to it's just that I've got to pick Tommy up from work later on or Georgie, you know, so I just like, because I cook a lot, I just like when I'm cooking in the kitchen, there's a glass of wine on the side while I'm, I'm prepping. I'm not that bothered. After I've had my evening meal, I'm kind of full. So the thought of having a glass of wine then, I think, no, nah, no, I'll not bother. So it's purely while I'm getting the tea ready. I suppose it's habit. That's what I do while I'm cooking. Mm. Yeah. Well... I don't share mum's opinion. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a sip of alcohol. At, at all? Not even like a gin and tonic? I haven't, I haven't had one in over a month. Oh god. I haven't had a sip of alcohol in over a month. Wow. Um, because I'm just not bothered. And also, first of all, I don't think, I don't think drinking daily is healthy. Personally. Mm. 
Okay. I wouldn't say it's necessarily unhealthy, oh, but I, I wouldn't say, say it's healthy. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's healthy. <laughs> no, let's get that out there right away. No, but I don't think it's deeply unhealthy. Oh, to, no. To but do. what I'm trying to say is I personally, like, this is just my personal opinion. So if you drink daily, that's fine. Um, but for me personally, like, I just... I know how I feel after I've drank alcohol and if I was doing that every single day I would just feel ill all the time and also I don't actually enjoy the taste of alcohol um so that's probably a good thing um but yeah there's only like a couple of like I like gin and tonic and stuff like that but I would actually prefer to drink like a diet coke or something mm. so nowadays when somebody offers me alcohol, I won't just accept it because I think I'm supposed to drink that. I'll actually step back and think, hang on a minute, do I actually want this alcohol or am I just accepting it because I feel like that's what people do? Um, or would I actually rather have like a soft drink? So yeah, like if I go to the pub, I'll have a soft drink, even if everyone else orders alcohol. It's a weird one, isn't it? Because you're right, the taste of alcohol itself isn't mm. that good, particularly in spirits. You know, vodka on its own is horrendous. Don't Gin on its own is horrendous. Certain wines are just, you think, blah, 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 you know, but if there was a glass of wine on the side or a Diet Coke, I'm afraid it'd be the wine every time and I, I do enjoy Diet Coke, but yeah, I don't know why. I think I put myself off wine because I had a few glasses or whatever one night and then the next day I threw up like at least seven times. Oh God. It wasn't, I, you don't want to hear about it, it wasn't good. So now I literally taste wine and I just think, ugh. Maybe as I see alcohol as a treat, so I would an a special occasion thing from when I was little maybe. Oh right. Oh geez, that's interesting. Do you think? Because um we were allowed a glass of white or bit or a baby sham. Those people of a certain age will know what they are. Um or a little glass of sherry on Christmas Eve, you mm. know, and we'd get excited for that because it meant it was Christmas Eve. Mm. And we'd also be allowed a little glass of wine with our Christmas dinner as well. Um yeah, that was seen as a real treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if so that's maybe where it's it all began. What this is saying is you shouldn't treat your children with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really bad, doesn't it? But yeah, we are talking the, the tiniest of glasses here, particularly when it came to sharing. Oh yeah, obviously like a little it's tiny, tiny but shot glass yeah. thing. I can still picture the glasses now. They're all well seventies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always I, saw it as an exciting thing. I feel like I will only drink if it's a night out with my friends and they're like, oh, we'll go out because I feel like it would be a bit bad if I just didn't drink at all. But I only have like two or three drinks because I'll just feel really ill. Mm. Like, I just know I'll get ill. So, I, I, yeah, it just doesn't bother me. But we, we might talk about this more with Tommy. Yeah, um, I was going to say, there is no getting away from the fact when... I mean, I, I might come across as confident, but if I'm in a big group of people who I'm not that familiar with... I kind of shrink back a little and, and don't sort of participate. And the fact is, if you've had a glass of wine or two. Or ten. Not ten. Because then you make an absolute tit of yourself. Yeah. Um, but if you just have a couple, it just, it just makes you a little bit less self-conscious, I think. You need a bit more confident. You can think of more things to say somehow. Or, no. Yeah. Don't you agree? Oh, Which yeah. Which is annoying. It's just, yeah, it I noticed like that. that as well. But then I thought to myself, well, this actually helped with my confidence going, growing. Was that I thought, hang on a minute. So why am I more confident when I drink alcohol? And why can't I apply this to like normal everyday situations? Because there's literally no difference apart from the fact that you've had alcohol. It's not like people are looking at you um, or anything like that. Like that everyone will look at you the exact same if you know what I mean. Mm. It's like that situation is still there, those same people are still there, the only difference is you've had alcohol, so why is your confidence increased? So why not just, you know, attempt to be more confident in real life? Because I think when you have alcohol, you don't care as much, like, about what people think, um, so you need to just try and apply that to everyday life. It's a pity they can't extract that element of alcohol mm. without the alcohol, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like maybe antidepressants or something like that, you know, or... Oh, that kind of tablet but yeah I suppose alcohol is alcohol it is its yeah. own thing so yeah and clearly it's not a good thing in, in no whatever quantity so. but everybody drinks different amounts some people don't drink at all some people drink a lot and that they're happy with that um but this is just mine and mum's differences yeah I, I do actually found that I've sort of had a bit of a, a re revelation there I do see it as a treat and I do probably think it's come mm. from my, 
it being treated as such when I was little. It, it's exciting. I look forward to it. Yeah. Whereas I don't think of alcohol as a treat. If anything, um, yeah, I don't. I don't think of it as a treat. Yeah, <laughs> Just I did, simply, I did a similar thing with you and Tommy. I'd be like, oh, well, it's Christmas Eve. Yeah. Maybe you would like a little sherry. Not when you were really little, but <laughs> I was like say, two years old. I don't know when he was probably like what we say nine, ten. Just the tiniest amount with like a mince pie on on, the, mm. on Christmas Eve. But yeah, you were like, and you did get excited about it for a couple of years, and then one year you were like, no, nah. nah, I don't really want that. I feel <laughs> the camera cut off again, which yeah. means the background might be slightly altered. Why? In what way? Like the camera positioning. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was like, why? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. We was last talking about alcohol. Yeah. And we're realising it's because she'd use it as a treat. Uh, yeah. Always have. Always will. So we will wrap this up. Yeah, we have talked an awful lot. So yeah, yeah it will. But yeah, n we'll have more structure to episode number three. I, yeah, do we need structure though? I quite like the old rambly way. Oh of yeah. Because that's But we need some kind it? of like starting point. If you know what I mean. Yeah, last time we had a list, didn't we? And yeah. <coughs> Use that as pointers. Sorry. So any suggestions, please let us know. We're okay. going to round this up. That's um, it for another fortnight. Yeah, then. two yeah. weeks time will be episode three. Until then, there will be weekly vlogs and normal videos um, that I just happen to film. I may be lurking in the background on one or two of them. I do my best. We don't know. <laughs> I'm not camera shy. Everybody knows that. <laughs> No, um, but yeah, next time we'll try and talk about something different. Um, but these are just casual videos, so hopefully you didn't have to put this on 1.5 times speed or more. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll okay. see you in our next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.